Yo, have you guys seen my How to Reach the End Game video? Well, because, like, if you haven't, 136,000 people have. And, I mean, I feel like that video isn't that up to date. So, we're just going to pull a Hell Castle and just quickly control C, control V that video, and let's freaking go, boys. <laughs> Hello random people on the internet, my name is Banana, and today we are here in the Pets V2 update, and we are talking about how to reach the endgame. So I made a video four months back about how to reach the endgame in Hypixel Skyblock, and it's still sort of accurate. The video still sort of works when it comes to what you need to do. Basically, what I go into in that video is get money, you freaking idiot. But there is a bit more things that can actually be talked about when it comes to reaching the endgame in Skyblock. So, Skyblock, definitely, the endgame hasn't changed much since that video. The endgame then was Midas with Superior, and now it's either Midas with Superior or it's Superior with AOTD. But the difference is pets. Pets are a huge, huge addition. To reaching the end game and you need good pets if you want to be considered a top tier player I believe yeah my best pet right now is my tiger pet because I sold my legendary dragon pet because I wanted f like 600 million coins I just really did so I have a legendary tiger this pet is one of the best pets in the game and you're gonna want to figure out what some of the best pets in the game are and get them I think that's the main difference from the other guide so you have superior armor you have a tiger you have a midas you're still not endgame another thing that links people to the endgame very very heavily is your skills and this has been getting min maxed by people for so long if you don't know what min maxing is it's just doing a lot of effort to get minimal stat increases pretty much you are just you're at the peak of the game and you literally just have to grind these skills up to 50 and 50 isn't that bad for a lot of skills i don't know like you can see i'm combat 49 i haven't put like any effort into combat in so long same goes for foraging foraging 46 and then i've been working on my enchanting but i have my alchemy up my taming up you want to optimally if you are a max player you will have every single one of these at 50. that's not a thing that literally anyone has reached there was Jamero, which was a bot account and like a shared account between a bunch of people where they almost did it. They were a couple skill levels off. I think it was like four from being max literally every single skill. But it is very tough. I think that definitely if you're going to aim for any skills to level, combat and foraging are the two best skills when it comes to like bang for your buck. You're getting your damage from both of these and damage is insane. And then I'd say, obviously, like, alchemy is really easy to level. Doesn't take that long. It's just a lot of money. And same goes for enchanting, but enchanting does take forever. I've been working on it. I still have to keep working on it. That's what I was doing, but then I decided I wanted to make this video just because the end game is something that every single player should try and reach. So skills are going to be huge for the end game. Pets are going to be huge for the end game. And then, honestly... After that, I mean, obviously, you want to get literally every talisman in the game if you are going to try and be an endgame player. If you want to be considered good at Skyblock, you have to have literally everything. You need the Seal of the Family. You need the uh, Red Card effect. You need just all the very expensive ones. The Bait Ring. Literally, the Hunter Ring. You need just so many talismans that are going to cost you a lot. <laughs> and when I say a lot, I mean a lot of coins these are going to bring your bank down it's going to be insane but something else that is actually good for the end game is having a high bank because basically how a lot of people do especially dragons right now is using emerald blade now in dungeons emerald blade will not be good but if you have i believe over 300 million coins and emerald blade has better stats than a midas and the higher you go obviously the higher your like damage will go with your emerald blade you can see i have 842 million coins right now because i did sell my dragon and then i was where i had a billion for like a day but then i bought a bunch of stuff because i had to change out from dragon pet but you definitely still do want to have a high bank even though emerald blade won't work in dungeons just because emerald blade is like 
good and having money is just good because how content seems to be working in Skybulk and how it's worked for a long time is have money and you can buy the new stuff. I feel like they do want to push away from that a little bit, but you are going to have to like buy dungeon rewards if you know the new loot system that they're doing for dungeons where you buy the stuff from the chest. And I mean, getting money is definitely going to be the biggest thing for any Skyblock player, like to be honest. Because if you have money, you get your Midas, you get your Superior, you get your pet. And then you just start stockpiling. And the best way is to get money. The old best way would have been to auction flip Superior. But auction flipping Superior is sort of dead ever since the buy it now update. You can maybe get a little bit of profit if you buy something for a tiny bit cheap and then put it up for a higher buy it now price. But the chances of you doing that are pretty low because people will just outbid you if you're buying it for too cheap. And then the other way that still does work is bizarre flipping, which is where you just like buy items on margin. So like you can see sell orders on here are 3127, buy orders are 3081. It's not a huge margin. But if you buy there, sell there, you're going to be making minimal profits. You just have to find the good margin items that are like very far between and that people will actually buy. There's a website called stonks.gg and that's going to show you a lot of the high margin items. You do have to remember though that a lot of the highest margin ones are like enchanted cooked salmon or some of the items that are literally never bought by anyone and that's why they are high margin because no one will be buying them and people just try and sell them for a, a bit higher because they sort of control the market. So bizarre flipping is mildly complicated, but you can make it work. If you know uh, Swavy, he gets a lot of his money from bizarre flipping and he also gets money from like his guild and contraband and all that. But bizarre flipping is what contributed to him getting rich originally. And it's gonna be a crazy way of making money that everyone should try and do. And yeah, I definitely think if you want to be considered truly endgame, you need to be in a good guild. Right now, I know some of the good guilds are like lost in space and stuff. I'm in Influencers. We're a pretty high tier guild just because we got all those red names, baby. All of them. But yeah, I think that pretty much covers how you are going to be getting to the end game. Obviously, summoning eyes are still a great form of money. If you want to try and do dragons to get money, you're probably going to lose. But if you do get superiors, if you do get on the off chance, the very, very low chance that you get a pet, you can maybe pull some big bucks. But the ma majority of the money that you want to get is from like passive things like bizarre flipping, like doing things with minions and all that. Like you still want to be running minions. I definitely do recommend snow minions because mining XP is going to be good for dungeons. And I mean, they still make good money per day. There's definitely better options that you can just sell directly to the bazaar, but I do not know those right now. You can use the uh, 30 virus minion calculator if you want to do that. But yeah, I'm trying to think if there is literally anything else. I don't know if there's anything more that I really need to touch on. You have to play Skyblock a lot if you want to be in the end game, especially with dungeons coming out. A lot of this will probably be a little irrelevant when dungeons releases because you're just going to want to try and get all the gear from dungeons. like. If you are watching this when Dungeons has already released, assume that the swords and the armor that I'm talking about is irrelevant. I would bet farm the floor 10 boss, get that armor, get that sword, and bada bing, bada boom, you're the most endgame player. But, you know, I don't really have any idea how the loot in Dungeons is going to be compared to Superior, compared to Midas. So, yeah, that's going to be all for today's video. If you did enjoy, please smash that like button. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.